All right, here we go with sixth grade Excel lesson 90. Selecting the fraction, percent, or decimal number that best represents a shaded region. Shouldn't have too much trouble with this, although it's a little bit longer lesson because this is one of the fiver lessons that's uh, doubled in length. So let's get going on it. Which fraction in the, in the set best represents the shaded portion? Well, this shaded portion looks like it's about half. Whoa, keep doing that. Okay, let's do this. About half of it is shaded over here. So we're looking for the fraction that that represents. There it is, one half. Both one fifth, and it gives you an explanation of why this makes sense. One fifth and one fourth are too small because that's a very small portion of the, uh, the shaded, you know, that would be of the rectangle. Five, six, and seven eighths, that's almost the whole thing. So those don't make sense either. Oh, one half is the only reasonable choice. All right, let's go to the next one here. Which fraction in the set best represents the shaded portion? Go ahead and do one through four, pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solutions. Okay, the shaded part here is a very small fraction. It's a very small part of it. Five sixths is almost the whole thing. Three fourths is more than half of it. And eight ninths is almost the whole thing shaded. So the only one that makes sense is one third. Number two, this is more than half shaded. Half is about right here. And so the fraction that I pick has to be more than a half. Two ninths is less than a half because four and a half ninths would be exactly a half. This is less than a half. And the shaded part is more than a half. So that doesn't make sense. Five sevenths, more than a half. Three and a half sevenths is a half. So that one can't be it. So it's got, got to come down. Oh, excuse me. I just did that wrong. Let's try that again. One fifth is less than a half. And so that couldn't be it. And one eighth is hardly anything. That's going to be about in here. That's less than a half. The only one that's more than a half is five sevenths. And so five sevenths would be the correct answer. Number three, uh, this one is going to be less than a half. Five tenths is equal to exactly one half. That doesn't look like exactly a half shaded. Six eighths is more than a half. And three sixths is exactly a half. The only one that makes any sense is one fourth. This one here, small portion shaded. This looks like less than a half shaded. This eight twelfths, six twelfths is a half, and that's eight twelfths. So that's bigger than a half. Two thirds is also larger than a half. One and a half thirds would be a half. And so that's too big. Four fifths is also more than a half. Two and a half fifths is a half. And so three ninths is the only one that makes sense. And also three ninths reduces by dividing top and bottom by three to, oops, to one third. And you can tell by looking at that that this is about a third. All right, let's go to the next page. Remember that percent means parts per hundred. A percent can be changed to a fraction by dropping the percent symbol and making the percent numerator of a fraction with 100 as the denominator. Which percent is the in the set best represents the shaded portion? So this box right here, again, is about halfway shaded. 20% is the same thing as 20 hundredths. And I can get rid of a zero on there. That's 2 tenths. That's about the same thing as 1 fifth. Does that look 1 fifth shaded? No. 85 hundredths, that's much more than a half. This looks like it's pretty much close to a half, so that makes no sense. 88 hundredths and 85 hundredths are really close to each other. 50 hundredths, well, 50 is half of 100, so that looks like a half. 25 hundredths is a fourth. And so that one doesn't make sense either, either. And all that is explained to you right down here. And we're going to go on to the next page. So which percent is the, in the set is the best represents the shaded portion? Go ahead and answer five through eight, pause the video, and then turn it back on when you're ready to see the solutions. 83%, that's 50% is half. And 83% is more than half. This is not more than half shaded, so that makes no sense. 33%, we'll come back to that one because that is less than half, and that's, that does make sense, but let's check the others. 75%, more than 50%, doesn't make sense. 89%, even larger than that, much more than half, doesn't make sense. So the only one that could possibly be the answer is 
Number six, this is more than half shaded. Half would be about right here. So we're looking for a percent that's more than 50%. Less than 50%, less than 50%, less than 50%. That's the only one that makes sense for that one. This one's barely shaded at all, which means it's gonna be less. This is 50% right here. It's gonna be less than 50%. All three of these are greater than 50%, so 25% makes sense. This one is greater than 50%. 50% would be about right in here. And this one is less than 50%, and that one's less than 50%. So now we have to decide between 66% and 90%. 90% means 90 out of 100 which is the same thing as 9 tenths. 66% is 66 out of 100, and that's pretty close, not exactly, but pretty close to 2 thirds. Does this look like 9 parts shaded to 1 part unshaded, or 2 parts shaded, let me get that out of the way, or does it look more like 2 parts shaded to 1 part not shaded? And if I split it right there, you can see I have one, two, three. Three thirds with two of the thirds being shaded. 66 hundredths makes much more sense than the 90%. So that one's 66%. All right, let's go to the next page. A decimal number can be written as a fraction having a denominator with the same place value as the decimal number. So 1.3, you already know, is the same thing as one and three tenths. 3 and 24 hundredths is 3 and 24 hundredths. 7 and 562 thousandths can be written as a mixed number 7, 562 thousandths. Notice there's three numbers after the decimal point, three zeros. Two numbers after the decimal point, and two zeros right there. One number after the decimal point, one zero in the denominator. Here we have four numbers after the decimal point and four zeros right there. So this is four and 718, 7,018 ten thousandths. Convert, convert each decimal number to a fraction, determine which decimal number in the set best represents the shaded portion. So for the first one here, you can see that's less than a half and 0.25 is the same thing as 25 hundredths, 0.53 is 53 hundredths, 0.75 is 75 hundredths, and 0.47 is 47 hundredths. 53 hundredths and 75 hundredths are both larger than a half. 47 hundredths is really close to a half, and you can see this is not that close to a half. 25 hundredths is the same thing as a fourth. This looks like more like a fourth, so that's the one that makes sense, and that's what they choose. Number 10, uh, you can see very little has been shaded, so we're looking for a decimal that's representing very small portion of the whole. 55 hundredths can be written like this. That's about a half, actually over a half. That couldn't be it. 40 hundredths, a little bit under a half. We'll come back to that one. 20 hundredths, quite a bit under a half. 68 hundredths is a lot more than a half, so it couldn't be that one. So now we have to choose between 40 hundredths and 20 hundredths. Well, here's a half. That's 50 hundredths, so 40 hundredths would be about in there. That's going to be a little bit too big. It's going to be more like 20 hundredths. 20 hundredths can be reduced to one-fifth, and one-fifth does make sense with this one. Let me clear this off and kind of show that to you a little bit better. If I split this like this, you can see I have one, two, three, four, five parts, and that part right there is one of the five parts. 20 hundredths, you can divide top and bottom by 20, and that's equal to one fifth, and that's what you're seeing right there. Go ahead and do an 11 and 12, pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solutions. Okay, this one is almost completely shaded, which means it's gonna be a real high decimal. 0.02 is hardly anything. This is 90 hundredths. That one's looking pretty good. Let's come back to it. 75 hundredths, that's like 3 fourths. And that can't be 3 fourths, it's more than that. 66 hundredths is, like we mentioned earlier, is about 2 thirds. 
and there's no way it's going to be two-thirds, so the only one that makes sense is the 90 hundredths. Last one, this is shaded about halfway through, so we're looking for the decimal that means about a half. 20 hundredths, much less than a half, not going to be it. 50 hundredths, that is a half, that's going to be it. 95 hundredths is almost the whole thing, hasn't been shaded almost all the way. 67 hundredths is about two-thirds, and you can see that's not two-thirds. So 0.50 would be the correct answer. Thanks for watching.